Hi and welcome along to another video in our How to Use Anna series. In the last video we had a quick look at how to get going with some presets. In this video we're going to delve a bit deeper and look at how Anna 2 is organized and how the signal flow works and just the general layout of where the different elements are. So the first thing we'll look at is uh, the sound generation. So we have um, six oscillators in total or six sound generators in total. Um, on the left hand side we have uh, three wavetable oscillators and these can be standard single cycle waves or they can be 3D morphing wavetables. And on the right hand side we have our sampler and we have a bunch of um, samples included in the in the presets or in the factory content to get you going um, but you can also load in your own samples so this is the sound generation section and then that feeds into our filter section we have two filters very similar to Anna 1 except we have a bunch of new filter model types so we have um, a bunch of analog models from classic synths and then we have a bunch of new vial filters and all the old filters from Anna 1 plus a few new ones included in there some phase filters um, and some various other ones so we have our two independent filters with uh, an overall sort of trim control and this basically just modifies both the filters at the same time and then we have our filter envelopes, our ample em envelopes and our mod envelopes of which there are four. Then we have our G envelope or our graphical envelope and there are three of those and that can also be opened up into a big screen mode. And then we have our macro section which we covered briefly in the first video which is basically a way to assign multiple controls to a single knob and most presets should have something set up but of course you can assign your own. We have a master EQ section we've got our quick controls here to control the uh, gains and if you want to go into more detail you can click the edit button and see a graphical representation. Then we have our main display and this has um, all the effects inserts. We have five inserts and then we have a send and return section with two returns. And then we have our arpeggiator which is a polyphonic step arp, six note. So you can get polyphonic rhythms or single rhythms or mono rhythms and there's a whole bunch of features in there we'll cover in a bit more depth shortly. And we have our chord memory device which is a way of storing chords. In Anna 1 we had um, what is similar to the single mode where you could uh, put a chord in and it would play that chord across the keyboard. And in Anna 2 we have also a multi-mode. So you can assign um, chord to each individual key so you can get quite powerful results there and there's our EQ tab we also have an oscillator mix tab and this is just mirroring the volume controls of each of the oscillators and it just gives you a quick way to uh, modify oscillator volumes then we have our mod matrix and this is where we can set up all our modulation and we have our settings panel and in our settings panel we've got options for our skin we can either go for the default white or black you can set the skin size and we'll go through some of these other um, settings in more detail in future videos I just want to give you a general overview of the layout um, next we have our LFOs and another way to modulate our signals we have three of those with two targets in each one and then we have our modulation and pitch controls and our keyboard controls so these include pitch bend 
amount in semitones we have our polyphony setting so how many notes can be played at once we have our portamento time and our portamento type whether it's slide or slide off so whether overlapping notes uh, make the portamento happen or whether with slide on notes always use portamento then we have our mono switch and a legato switch as well and then we have our main keyboard and this can actually display various things uh, so if CMD has some chords saved you can actually see which uh, notes have chords saved to them just to give you a handy representation so you can quickly see if there's a chord saved on a on a note and then over here we have our chord memory device quick controls so you can turn CMD on or off and go into the edit window you can switch between multi or single and you can actually learn the chords and reset them and we also have a chord name display here and our preset menu so you can actually go in quickly and just select a a set of chords and that's generally the the overview of the layout um, we also have our menu items up here where you can load presets save presets and um, call up an initiated preset or a blank preset and um, you can open the user preset folder the user wave folder and um, you can load and save your MIDI learn mappings and um, we've got our abouts our tutorials which will take you to this these videos and we have our manual and the Anatu forums so that is basically it for the overview I suppose I should talk about this section actually this gives us our info for our controls just shows you um, what controls being modified gives you more specific detail about amounts and names etc and then we have our voice count so this is related to how many notes are being played and how many voices are in each of the presets so it gives you a, a, some sort of an idea of how much CPU it might use although it's very dependent on what effects are being used as well and then we have uh, a set of meters at the top this gives you a guide of um, the sort of output volume and you can control it so it doesn't go over 0 dB and um, so that's basically it um, thanks for watching in the next video we're going to take a closer look at the oscillator section Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.